money, you know what the business is. What's fam, Jay? Look. All a nigga blow his gas, I be smoking like a train Book of money in my pockets, you know I can make it rain Take a nigga head, run it up till it can't fall All a nigga taste his bags, ain't too focused on the hoes Yeah, because, like, I'm, I'm really thinking about that That was really integral part of, like, you know what I'm saying, New Orleans Just I remember Wheezy going like over to, to to Miami or whatever. Like I just remember that whole thing. But they don't really talk about like Baton Rouge, how the other places were I don't want to say affected by it, but you know, I it's guess affected. they kind of were affected by it. It, it is affected, yep. Yeah. 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 The yeah. population increase. Yeah. With that two two five versus five oh four. Holy. How old were you guys when this had happened? Where, do you guys even remember, like, you know, it going on? All these seen, weird seen, stories, seen, the news right. reports. Yeah, we seen, I seen all that shit. It was about, like, eighth grade. About eighth grade, huh? Yeah, about eighth grade. Eighth, ninth about grade. Eighth grade. Yep. Yeah. About 809. Yeah. Yeah, about eighth grade. Wow. That's crazy. Wow. Fact. Yeah, my all my whole family came moved in down here. Like all my grandma, my grandma house full of all people. Like, cause my grandpa from from New Orleans, so everybody came to the crib. Like everybody was staying at the crib. All his sisters, everybody cousins, and we was packed in. So that episode, okay, I don't know if you guys ever watched the Boondocks, but the Boondocks episode yeah. where they, you know, the they, they depicted that shit. That was like real similar. life. Similar to what that was going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Waiting on them chicks to come in. For real. That's how it was for real. That shit. Blowing FEMA up. That's wild, bro. That, waiting for that FEMA check and I got you. Did anybody get the right. how much people got FEMA though? Uh, from what it, you guys I think, heard. I think it depends. I think it just depended like on how fucked up this shit was. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like your shit fucked up, I guess. I don't know. We gonna give you five percent, five percent to build a bit. I don't know. Yeah, look, I'm from Baton Rouge. We ain't getting no checks. Yeah, we ain't get no type of check. <laughs> I ain't get a check. We had a flood. I ain't seen shit. Nothing. We ain't get shit from the flood. I ain't got nothing. Shit, I didn't even get anything from Serb when when they got COVID going on. I ain't get shit either. No, I, I got ain't get shit either. You got I ain't get got no Serb <laughs> nothing, bro. I was cheesed about that. Who, who, who we need to holler about? You know what I'm saying? I need to reach on them stimmies. I need them stimmies to hit back. <laughs> Joe Biden. I, I wouldn't mind COVID. I wouldn't mind another COVID round. You know what I'm saying? Let everybody go back in their house. You know what I'm saying? Music wasn't even reset. that bad either. For real, man. Yeah. You're right. Good you know right. Some gonna have it again. Some gonna have it again. Why? We get we get a phone to Tory Lanez inside jail. He do the quarantine radio inside jail. Yeah, fam, we get shit lit again, bro. Oh, man. Yeah. Let me not wish that because a lot of people died in them times. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean, but... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> survive, though. But, yo, it's your boy, Gutsy. It's your boy, Vegas. It's the Man Dem Show. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, do all that YouTube stuff. And yo, um, we got a special, special guest, man. Shout out to Mr. White, man. Tap me in on the other side, the south side, the real south side, not the south side, Jay. You know what I'm saying? We going south side. Shout out all back, Rouge, New Orleans, everything. But yo, we got when I, when when I found out who his people was, I was just like, damn, this, this kid's really tapped in. This young man's really tapped in. Got a viral song, all that. We're going to get to know Mr. J. Lewis. Big up yourself on the Mandem show. You yeah. got sound effects, Vegas? No sound effects? I thought Vegas said I had sound effects. But... <laughs> the manualize. The manualize. Oh, there you go. Look. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, man. <laughs> How are you? How are you? I'm good, though. I can't complain. Are are you are you fresh off tour? Or are you are you, were you were performing studio? Man, bro.
I'm just trying to, I, I kind of lost the love for this shit, you know what I'm saying, a little bit, just like, uh, over time, like, you know what I'm saying, shit start to change. So, it's it just because it changed don't mean it, it, it's changing for the better, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the whole streaming shit where, where labels be able to drop 500000 a million dollars or whatever, like, you know what I'm saying, on a, on a project. Mm. Like, I'm just trying to find my way back in it, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to find a love for this shit again. You feel like, I, I, I sense like you feel like the label, the industry, you kind of had to go through that and it kind of like killed your love for the game kind of thing. Yeah, because like, then they're not going off like, like talent or no shit like that. Yeah, they're just going off, I mean, Instagram followers you got on, what kind of following you got so they can add on. So it's mm. really not, it shit just dry for me. Like, you know what I'm saying? I see that. I see that. I also, because I, I, I see like the music industry is tricky for you because obviously you got a viral song that, that I hope and I even heard you in the interview saying like you didn't even like that song. Yeah, you know I'm saying you did it. Right. Why even take so long to even drop a video? They kept it, it never stopped blowing up. I never stopped making money off of it. No, yeah. Like and it blew up on TikTok again. Well, it blew up on TikTok. Hey, like. 500,000 people to just, you know what I'm saying, making videos and shit to it. Like, it's trending on TikTok right now. Uh, yeah. I dropped that song because I didn't like the song, so I didn't plan for it. Like, you know what I'm saying? I didn't plan to shoot a video. And that, that shit just mm. happened. Because everybody kept asking, like, all right, we got the song. We need a video. We need a video. We need a video. We need it. So are you signed at this time? Like, or did the video blow up and then you get signed? Nah, this this... I wouldn't sign at the time. I'm not signed now. No, no? Nah, I'm independent. Oh, you're independent? Oh, okay. For sure. Would you would you take the deal? Depends. <laughs> it depends. You no, know, a lot of people be like, well, I ain't signing unless they give me five, ten million. I ain't gonna say all that. It could be a hundred thousand dollar deal. And it still be some fire shit that y'all can put together. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah. So, so, so let's go back a little bit, because obviously, like I've, I've done my research on you. Um, I know that you know we're we're not gonna talk about you know how you got the the DJ equipment or the computer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> to start the DJing, but how did you even get to link up with Kevin Gates to do like DJing for Kevin Gates's like events or something? I believe. No, I used to. Uh... When I started DJing, I got with these clicker dudes. Uh, it's called Dead Game DJs. Mm. I was like, I was in fucking middle school when they had that shit going on. Uh, so like, we used to push the uh, free Kevin Gates T-shirts and shit like that, uh, posters and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Uh, then when he got when he got out of jail. I used to be around, like, you know what I'm saying, his old team and shit like that, but I was a young dude. You know, if you see, like, the youngins, like, the kid, like the kid uh, if you hang around all these grown men, like, you know, people just going to be like, you know, they're going to start embracing you, like, man, what you doing? Like, you know. Right. So that's how we kind of, when he got out of jail, that's kind of, that's how we, me and him, uh, jammed in together. And then his old, one of his old DJs, I was uh, tagging along with him. Uh. He, he used to host. So while he was hosting, I DJ. So it yeah. turned into, and we was going to every show with Kevin. So it turned into me being a DJ for him. And I was still young as fuck. You know what I'm saying? So we just been cool ever since. I wasn't rapping then. Mm, you're just DJ. Yeah. So I was just, I was just DJ. Did you and see him do any of this? Did you see him do any of the crazy shit that he be doing now on stage? All that, the, 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 the freaky dances mean? and shit you be seeing him do? Was he doing that back in the day? Yeah. No, but he always, he his own person, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? You can't knock him. Like, he, he one of a kind, bro. <laughs> you never know. Like, you don't never know what, you, what he'll do. Nah, we not Maybe. knocking him still. We not knocking him at all, bro. We love that guy. Um, 
there's been a lot of changes. The challenges, my bad. There's been a lot of challenges about with the I Hope song. You said there's like 500,000. You know what I'm saying? Like, you said that there was like a, a imbalance between streaming and stuff. I mean, you come, you're coming from Vine. You know what I'm saying? So like, when they started to rehash on TikTok, like, did the love for the music just even sparked you a little bit to be like, you know what? To get back in the studio and do some more no, shit. Not really. Not really. Cause the shit that you hearing, it'd be like ABC one, two, three type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, and if that's the shit that's going on and, and that's, what's getting viral. I got some shit that sound way better than this. This, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like the shit that they be blowing up, it don't be, uh, it's just trend. That, it's on the wrong yeah, like you know what I'm saying. You feel like the industry is just falling out of like the real music, and it's just like if you're not trendy, for sure. But it's falling; it's getting back in order, though. I feel like it's getting back to it. Like you know, people tired of the clout shit. Like you got clout shit or whatever. No, that's facts because like a lot, like you've been doing a lot of the freestyle stuff too. I seen you do um off the block. Um, you did some other freestyle stuff. Another person that's been doing cool and crazy on the freestyle is Poison Ivy, and she loves your shit. Like, is there a song yeah. that you guys are gonna do together in the future? I see you guys like doing something. You know what I'm I saying? hope so. I hope so. That's like it, man, bro. It's crazy, like, cause the type of people like I be around, like you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just a down to earth ass nigga. Like, I just be chilling, but like, I be around some fucking people. I some people, but who who was the first who was the first person to really like give you like a shout out or something? Somebody that was in the game, you know what I'm saying? Gates. Well, other than other than Gates. I really never had no cosign, bro. Ten years, nope. no cosign, eh? Uh yeah. I mean, with Stolito done true. Do you find that it, it be, because of that, it, 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 these are some of the things that make you like not want to be a part of the game because you know you don't get, people don't show the love for the work that you've done or you know they're not. Oh no, I ain't tripping on that. That's not. That's not. What, that's not. That's not it at all. Um. Uh, <clears throat> I really don't know, bro. It's just it's how you feeling, like I don't know. It's just a feel. What I really can't explain, bro. Like you gotta get you out of that feeling, man. <laughs> I know we gotta get you, fam. Like I don't know, but he, I get it though. The music actually is shit. <laughs> the music actually Everything is yeah. boring. It is. Really? It's about like I would call it caption rap nowadays. Shorties and the niggas is just doing beer caption shit, you know what I'm saying? And I and I feel you, but that's where like some of there's still real music pushing through, bro. Skin, you gotta like just just get just drop whatever you got, even if it was five years ago, drop that shit. You know what I'm saying, yeah, I know you got some unreleased joints, you know what I'm saying? Just drop them yeah, like bro. you did what I hope. Fuck it, make some money, you, you know what I mean? Yeah, true. That's kind of like how what we was talking about earlier, though, how like. The gang was bullshit. How everybody just, you know, I don't know, like the new, the the younger generation just they built off the ratchetness, like you know what I'm saying. Like the music just ain't it ain't it ain't doing what it used to do. I think I think it's the the culture you can't critique them, and I think that's became the problem. So if niggas make trash, you're not allowed to tell them that they're tr you, that it's trash because you're a hater or so if niggas will come actually G-check you or everything something. Everything looks positive, like. <laughs> yeah, it's like you got you got to rock with everything. And it's just like, no, sometimes you got to tell these niggas the music sucks because how else are they going to get better? Like, that's the only mm -hmm. way like an artist is going to be able to get better is if they have real people telling them, nah, that's not it. But if you're Telling them every remix is good. Every yo, they're they're remixing every R and B song, every hip hop song. Right. Nothing original. Nothing original. Nothing at all. So you don't really get no feeling from that shit. It ain't no feeling. Don't know song. That's, it's not a song out right now that make me feel away. Old songs, like you know what I'm saying, but songs don't have that connection no more. 
I even I even heard them say the same thing about your boy, you guys, his boy YB, man. They're saying like YB back in the day, maybe a year or two ago, like he he gave you that that emotion, but now it's just like his music is just like it just comes and goes kind of thing. I don't know. Do you but hold on, do you guys really feel like YB is a better rapper than Joe Button? Say again. Is is Young Boy a better rapper than um Joe Button? I don't know no fucking song about no Joe Button. <laughs> That's what I, I ain't want. What what Joe Button never, I ain't what, what's a Joe Button song? <laughs> these member these guys were in the eighth grade in two thousand and ten, Broski. They Joe Button's an old ass nigga. He's been rapping. I mean, Puppet Up came out in two thousand four. Exactly. Yeah, these guys weren't even born. I'm pretty sure they, they know some of these. He's true. They ain't never played a Joe Budden song in Baton Rouge, bro. <laughs> and numbers don't lie. I ain't I'm never heard. I ain't that. never heard it. I ain't never heard it. I ain't never just been in the hood and niggas just pump, pull up up in the Joe Biden. I said that Joe Biden, that Joe Budden. Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> That's almost saying like, young NBA young boys better than Lil Boozy. Boozy badass. Can't say that. But that's pretty much how we're looking at it. That's how it is. Yeah. We're like y'all like, looking at it. But no, but honestly though, yeah. Boozy got more tracks than Joe Boozy. Boozy might be better than Boozy might be better than Joe Budden. So nah, he be- is though, for sure. For sure. I'm gonna be for real sure. still. Boozy got sure, some baggers sure. still. Like Boozy got some like like some certified hits, bro. Yeah, there's this one song with Young Thug. Holy fuck. I think it's like, ah, that, 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 that. That song, bro, it's a crazy record. With that being said, though, Jay, besides yourself, who do you feel is or was the best artist to come out of Baton Rouge or even the best artist to come out of Louisiana, period? Hold on. Say that one more time. Who, besides yourself, who do you feel is or was the best artist to come out of either Baton Rouge or Louisiana or even both? Like one each. Period. 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 Point blank. Right now, period. period. Yeah, period. Greatest. Your opinion. This is your, your opinion. opinion. Yeah. Greatest of all time. Young boy. Young boy? Yeah. You said Baton, out of Baton Rouge? Okay, yeah. That's one. Yeah, Baton Rouge. And then Louisiana in a whole. I mean, how boy, Wayne? For sure. Wayne's that guy, man. Wayne. For sure. Do you feel like... um? Baton Rouge, or do you even feel like Louisiana? I, I know we kind of get them like mixed up, but like New New Orleans, do you feel like they've had like a real run? Like I don't feel like they've had like a run. I feel like what there's been mean? people, you know, there's been a one two artist that get hot, but you don't see like a bunch of artists. Like you know, when you see Chicago, you'll see like a bunch of Chicago right, artists, right, 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 a right, bunch right. of New York we artists. Had it. Why isn't why why isn't that? Because just like you said, Young Boy is probably one of the biggest artists of this generation. Little Wayne was probably the biggest artist of the generation generation before. Right. Why hasn't New Orleans, Baton Rouge really have that run yet? I don't feel like a lot of people out here don't have that mindset to just you know what I'm saying. They think showing love out here is like dick riding. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so. Man. Hold on. You sound like you're going to keep it too real. <laughs> yeah. I, I, yo, I love that he thinks before he talks. You know, because some yeah, people like... be like, you know what I'm saying? He's actually like, let me put this in a way where, you know what I'm saying? That's that experience. Yeah, right? yeah. I don't even want to just say no shit, bro. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I think. That shit crazy, though. But when you hear from, like, that from multiple sources, like, you know it's true. Like, like that ain't the first time you'd have heard that, like. 
we can because that's how them. I'm looking at it. Like you, you be sh- sending me artists, and every time you be sending me artists, I'm like, yo, these guys are sick. <laughs> I'm like, they're not like they're a lot better than the artists that I be hearing on the radio or hearing yeah, just in bro, general that people talk, that you're bro. getting promoted. Real talk, bro. So. Thanks. Real talk. And it's just like Toronto, the same thing. Like, I, I see Toronto, and it's just like, I know it's a little bit different because we're across the border. We don't have certain outlets or whatever, but it's like... I got a lot of plays in Canada on my uh, on my, up on profile, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. That's dope. Yeah, that's one thing about us, man. We, we'll we tap into artists, whoever, anywhere around the world, and we'll kind of make them our own. Yeah. It's facts. Oh, man. I had to turn the phone and I'm trying to put the bitch on the charge. <laughs> nah, no, that's cool. That's cool. But yeah, what, what do you think is the biggest issue? Though? Would you just say it's just the show and love issue? Is it just niggas just don't want to support each other? I'm going to tell you, I'm going to keep it G. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it is. <clears throat> Are the DJs playing you guys? Are you guys getting played on the radio? Like that don't work like that out here. Really? Nope. Not no so more. What you got? So what? Like you have to like. How is it that we have it out here? They they have to sign up and do like a sign up thing to get on the radio. Money so, talk. Money. They the money. They money talk. Like I right, so like on um, the radio stations down here they syndicate. I mean like. You know what I'm saying? So you hear a lot of Lady Gaga, that type shit. Mainstream. Top 40. Top 40. Mainstream. You don't hear, you ain't gonna hear boost, uh, five songs off Boo New Album. Like, you know what I'm saying? You probably won't even hear Young Boy. Nah, you won't, unless it's in, unless it's a song that they got and they pushing, like, you know what I'm saying? Still pushing that's in the radio system. That's the only time it'll play. Like, somebody single, like, you know. So basically you're saying there's not, like like, a local radio station. No, not at all. It is, Col- but no, no. College, no, no. Un- college, university, nothing like that. Mm-mm. Unless you don't have a radio station, y'all could just pull up on, and be like, yeah, like they, they play pop- if they if they do it, ain't popping, and don't nobody know about it. Holy fuck, that's crazy. I think that's worse in Toronto. <laughs> I'm starting to think. I'm starting to think so because, like, shit, we at least like fuck. We got six buzz. We got you know what I'm saying. We have even like. The y'all don't online even have some, platform. Even that too. You got y'all don't even have like a blog like like Louisiana rappers on Instagram or something to like I guess where the I guess you know wherever you are from they keep up with whatever's going because out here we have like six buzz Toronto rappers keep six solid like all these little blog Instagrams that boy. keep that keep us in the loop of all the news in the city. Y'all don't even have that? Uh-uh. Bro. Instagram. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. But it's yeah, but what, are, yeah. but what are some of the pages? like? Not for, not for artists. Not for artists. We ain't got no shit like that. Ain't nobody doing no shit like that. That's crazy. But you see, I know, bro. Tell me about it, bro. That's why we... T- that's a, that's... Tell that's me not, about it. Bro. That's not the first time I heard about that, though. I, I know a lot of the... They don't have... I don't know why, but that's like not even the first thing on their mind out there. Like but, like, but you would think so like you know what I'm saying and there's like you guys have so much shit popping and you know what I'm saying I'm like uh, like, like how was uh, how was six bus has six foods six angels with the girl like you know what I'm saying like a Louisiana fam we can, we can give these guys so much sauce right now I know. It's, it's crazy I know but that but that does yeah I can, I can understand why yeah the, the, the struggle is real out here I know <laughs> I know. Trust me. I I know. I ain't crazy. So yo, take take me back. You're a young man, right? Mm-hmm. I believe it's your uncle. Play um. He he's playing songs from like Single Life and Candy and mm-hmm. all these crazy tunes. How was that, bro? Having an uncle in a in a band like Cameo. I think that's where I picked the music shit up from. Honestly, I can never, I couldn't put my hand on. I'm like, what made me want to fuck with this shit? I used to always see him playing the guitar. Everybody, the whole band and shit, they used to be uh, at my grandma's house, like Thanksgiving, Christmas and shit like that. Uh, 
don't know. Ever since I ever since I can remember, since I was a baby, he always had the guitar on me. And he used to play the hell out of it, but so. Could could we be seeing a a a, a future collab? Yeah, got some got some working on. Yeah. Yeah. He's gonna I, remake I, one of the songs. He's gonna remake one of his oldest songs. I, I, thought, the... I thought that too, but that would have been too regular, so I want another rock. Yeah, song. I was just but, thinking that. No, but you know, I can't, you know I'm what? tired of that, bro. I'm tired of hearing remakes of people's songs, bro. Nah, but listen to this, though. It's not like a sample that you're reaching out from. So this it is, is in the house. To, it's this not hard to house. make your own song. It's no, it's not. not. To... It's not. But hear what I'm saying, though. Like, Some since... just need to be left where it's at, though. Like... Uh, okay, I get nah, it. I'm... I get it. I get it. Broski. I, I feel it because even though even though like I don't even play Snoop Dogg's version of, of the single life, bro. Yeah, I'm saying like yeah, it's a cool sample and I like the way he flipped yeah. it, but I'm like, yo, don't touch certain songs, fam. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Out outstanding the gap band, like don't touch that. Yeah, you know I'm saying there's certain <laughs> songs that don't touch. Don't touch the classes, bro. They don't need no they don't need nobody to do nothing to them. But I get it. I get a paying homage thing, but yeah, don't 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 touch it. Some people just go too far with it, though. But well, I guess that's facts. So yo, we're gonna play a quick game since we're doing, you know, we're gonna play a quick game called One Word Associations. I'm gonna say an artist name, and you give me just one word to describe the artist. You wanna play? Yeah. All right. It's not just. It's not just artists. There you go. So all right, so what I, I repeat it one more time. I'm gonna say an, I'm gonna say a name, and you give me one word to describe that person. Any word. Any word. Any word. First word that comes to your head, but I like I know you like to think about this shit, so we'll let we'll let you, you know what I'm saying? We'll let you think. All right. All right. First person. A kilo. Pressure. O B N J. Pressure. J D Youngin. Uh, I don't know. W N C Watt Beasy. Pressure. Boosie. Pressure. Janaya. Uh, I don't know. N B A Young Boy. Pressure. That's it. Fresh. Fresh. That's the episode name. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's So, are you in this? Go, go ahead. Go ahead, Big. Go ahead. Who do you see yourself working with in the next? Once you get back the the music bug, who do you see yourself working with in the next, say, three years or so, three to five years? Who? Who do you see yourself working with? Like any, if there's anybody you want to work with, it could be, it doesn't even have to be rap niggas. It, it could be anybody. Like who do you see yourself working with in the next three to five years? Like what would be your goal? Charlie Wilson. Say it again. Charlie Wilson. Ah. Uh, wow. I didn't see that one coming. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> me neither. What kind of song would you do with it? Um, I don't know. It'll be some shit though. It'll be some light shit. I don't know. It just come to you, bro. I don't really be thinking about it. Like, is it a way I can I can send y'all a song and play with? Oh, for sure. You want to send it to Vegas? Vegas, let them send it to you. Right. Send yeah, send it to my email, which is in the chat. I'm gonna send it again, and then give me the permission to to share. I gotta do that. I do that. It's crazy. This is the first time I've heard an artist like have a viral hit song and just be like, "I'm not cool with it." <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> Niggas in Toronto would beg for that. But but it's real though, man. It's real. Like... Nah, it's just that, bro. Like. I just can't, I can't be content. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm. 
Like, I don't never want to just get comfortable. Oh, I got that, but so what, though? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I treat myself like that. Mm. All right, ready to play? You guys ready? Yeah, you can play it. All right, introduce your song. It's some unreleased shit you hear me for y'all to hear. I ain't gonna tell y'all the name of it yet because I don't know the name. <laughs> Be real on the track, it's better than that. Like thinking, like, yo, who's on there trying to sound like R. Kelly? <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's hard, bro. Is that coming out soon? Yeah. That's the yeah. next. That's got to. That's got to be the next drop, bro. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be the next drop. That's gonna. That's gonna. I'll be saying. I'll be saying. I'm. I ain't in love with it, but I still be doing it. <laughs> yeah, yo, and the perky. What, what are you saying? Saying February? You know what I'm saying? Valentine's Day? You know, get it right for Valentine's Day? I got I got a little some I got some shit up my sleeve. I'm gonna fuck like, you know, I'm gonna fuck the world up with some shit. Hey, you ever heard of um a fleet DJs before? What it is? Fleet DJs. It's like a DJ coalition. You were, used to be a DJ. You ever heard of Fleet DJs? That name sounds familiar. We have a, I have a, we have a Louisiana chapter still. My boy, um, my boys out there. I think I'm gonna get you to tap in with them. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they we got some DJs in the radios. We got some DJs doing their thing. So, yeah, I'm a, I'm a holla at one of one of my homies in there, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what I can do for you, bro. Cause that shit, man, that shit is dope, bro. Appreciate they got. You. They do this. They do this like what we do, but we do an interview. But they do like a, like you can play. You could play your music for like the Louisiana Louisiana chapter, and you know what I'm saying. They'll give you advice on the song, and if they like it, they'll play it wherever they're doing their thing. They put in their mixes and shit like that. So I want to tap you into to the Louisiana chapter since you're out there. Yeah, let's do it, bro. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, this definitely this any dope. any drop that you got. From now on, send it to us. Send it to you know what I'm saying, Mr. White, and let him send it to us. And we're definitely gonna help you any way that we can over at this side. So, exactly. So, you know, when we do that Drake interview, we're definitely gonna let him know. You know what I'm saying, run to each one from me. Yeah, just throw him some of my shit, bro. You ain't gotta do it on the camera. Just put him to the side. So <laughs> fuck with him. He know me, man. Tell him, tell him, cool. That's what's up. Um, before you get out of here, what's what? one thing you want Toronto people to know from Jay Lewis, just in general? I ain't never been over there, so somebody over there should book me soon so I can come over there and I can start being over there too. So yeah, if you out there and you, and you and you see this, get somebody to book me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. I'm trying I know to get you're a very funny guy, man. I'm, I'm pretty sure you, you can make bags anywhere you go, man. Yeah, bro. Other than Toronto, where where else are you trying to go to? I see that you obviously want to hit up Atlanta. I see that that's a place that, you know, I guess that's the yeah, hot Atlanta, spot. Um, it's like Atlanta, Dallas. Uh, hold on. A place that I really want to go to? Yeah. You haven't been to. I haven't been to. Yeah. I ain't been to Charlotte. What about like somewhere else? Like you ever been to like Jamaica or like Dominican Republic or? You know? Oh, that's, oh, I yeah, I've been to Dior. Oh, everybody been to Dior. <laughs> yeah, everybody goes to Dior. <laughs> I mean, damn, bro. Are you. <laughs> <laughs> 
I mean, I, I, I would, I would, I would, I would, I would ask you some wild DR stories, but I don't know if I should ask you. I went out there to get my fuck. I went out there and got my teeth done. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> in DR. Yep. My boy went to Turkey. Did he didn't go to Turkey to do that shit. No, I went. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, he did. Both of them. Went yeah, they went to. Yeah, they went to Turkey. Both of them. Two people we knew they went to Turkey. I never knew they do it in DR. Yeah, yeah, they do it in DR. Nice. Is that the only thing you would do? Like, are, would you only fix your teeth? Like, if you start going balding, are you just leaving it? Like, you're going to cut your shit off? Like, yeah, if I go bald, I got no choice. I'm not going to just try to just have, have them need no, no hair on my fucking head or no shit like that. If it's going bald, just let it go, bro. What about other enhancements? What about like like the you like bad man Kevo? You get the like, bando Kevo, the like, lipo suction. Yeah, yeah. I ain't fucking with none of that, bro. I ain't bad bill, bro. I'm a, I'm a I'm a nice looking young man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I ain't gotta do that shit. Like, I ain't gotta do. I ain't gotta do too much, man. Fuck yeah, that. I'm like give me a little lipo. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, but some some shorties love like. Niggas with like, Love, like what? And shit, you know what I'm saying? They don't really need it, need it, but you know what I mean. Girls like chubby niggas, bro. Oh, I'm joking, yeah. You know, yeah, it's good over here, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and maybe you start like I said. You know, we have our brethren. You know, he has a little bit too much. You know what I'm saying? He start he start becoming a bad bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Once you once you get like three enhancements as a guy, you start yeah. with you're a bad bitch, bro. You know what I'm saying? You're not really you're not a random man. <laughs> nah. Yeah, nah. yeah. Can't redeem yourself after too much of this shit. Yeah, you can't you can't be doing that, bro. <laughs> but um yo, Jay, <laughs> thank you for coming through, man, chopping it up with us. I hope again that you know you, you find your freaking light with this music shit. Um, let the people know how to get a hold of you. Um, how to tap in if they want to book you, uh, stream your music, watch your music videos, all that good stuff. Man, Instagram, that's all I got. My fucking Twitter got hacked, so I ain't got Twitter no more. Oh, so, uh, all I got is Instagram. My Instagram, uh, official J. Lewis. You can hit me up there. We gonna get with you. <laughs> I got the mm-hmm. email in the bio, man. I say less, say less. Um, yo, uh, Mr. White, <laughs> thank you again. Appreciate you, my dog. No problem. Yeah, time. Vegas. You already know what it is, man. Take us out of here, man. Let me take y'all out of here real quick, bro. Let's do it again, motherfucker. Who's singing? Who's doing the singing? That's you? No, that's my secret weapon. (laughs) (laughs) Say less. (laughs) So now you understand Charlie Wilson now? Hmm? Now you understand, now you understand why I said Charlie Wilson. Yeah, got it. Well, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, yeah, you know. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Real, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, got the keys, jump. Cause you started acting crazy I know you missed the way a nigga be inside it I call your phone and you pull up just to come ride She hit me up, told me to come and blow her back out She like it rough on me to come and pull her tracks out I'ma beat it up, I'ma fuck her till she tap out Treat you like a credit card, just keep going till it max out Touching on her body, got her wetter than the ocean
emotion I'ma do it right, I'ma stroke it with the motion It's someone coming up, when we still going steady Yeah, I caught her by surprise, no, I don't think she was ready I be having her soaking wet, she be messing up the sheets on my bed yeah, she a freak in the sheets and the best at giving head She keep it solid, keep our business on the low Yeah, me and her, we be creeping, don't nobody gotta know Cause baby, when that perky kick in Again, that can get remixed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that's how you remix a true. Yeah, for sure. Because it's not even like, it's not straight copying. It's just, it's like interpretation or whatever they call it. Like, just elements, you know what I mean? But right, again, he, element, like... yeah, like certain tunes, these niggas just take the whole beat, they take everything, and they just like, they take and the they, beat, yeah. they take the hook, they take everything from So it's just like, what do you really, from just... Give the person a hundred percent freaking car, like ownership of the truth, man. Because that don't make no sense. <laughs> no words. Yeah, man. Jay, yeah, you don't know. Demand them. We're off of this. I'm gonna end this recording. Or you gotta end the recording, no? No, you can end it. Oh, you sent me another one. <laughs> That's just some shit. That's just some shit I ain't recording. Well, let's hear it. I wanna share. It. You guess you can end the recording though, got you, but. Hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, oh. Do I have to stop it or what? No, you do, right? Huh? This shit's not popping up for the slap. What's up, y'all? Make sure you like, comment, and share these videos. And make sure you subscribe right now.